But why does this look like Aaron? What is going on, you beautiful human being? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're reacting to Attack on Titan episode 62 called The Door of Hope. If you liked the video, hit the like button. Let's just jump straight into this. Wow, we were abandoned. Because the blood of devils runs through us. That's also why your father isn't here. Is Malian. Oh, wow. So crazy. So you can't even live in there, even if it's your family. But I mean, it's. I guess it's obviously frowned upon, right? Okay, so that, that was Rhino when he was a kid. And that's the indoctrination, obviously. Wow. It's so crazy seeing this side of it because, you know, what do you, how do you expect people to be if this is how they were raised? In just a few years. Oh man, are we gonna see how he inherited the armored titan? But I mean, Annie, Bertolt, Reiner, Galliard, Marcel, and there's that other chick who's always sick the whole time. Porco. Isn't that Galliard? Pierre. Who's this? Bertolt. And there's Annie in the back. Wow, so he was the worst, like Aaron. Maybe he changed his name to Galliard. I wasn't listening. What is that? Oh, she just killed that bug. I'll save the world. Man, and here's Aaron on the other side. Even better than we expected. Versatility is its biggest strength. Wow. It can call pure titans too. That's why she was able to call those titans. Oh. Wow, it suits Bronze Perseverance. The Jaw Titan is an assault weapon. So this was the one Ymir had, which Galliard's brother had. Marcel. Wow. Oh, so it's a part of the Beast Titan's technique. His blood seems to have hidden power. Car Titan. Here we go. <laughs> oh, this is just that other thing. Oh, okay. So Piek was that other utility titan. They call it a, a car titan. A god of destruction. The Colossal. Bertolt Hoover. <laughs> Damn. Didn't those children just crush a nation before our eyes? Seems that you're the worst. So, I mean, look, it's the, like, it's the same with the scouts. 
right? Oh, is that his dad or something? But he's obviously embarrassed of him. To get revenge on me. Yeah, he's ashamed. And be the world's hero. But it's like, how was Annie able to, to like, sneak up on them? They're probably gonna show that now. Like, where Marcel actually got eaten. So where was Annie during the first attack on the wall? Because it was only Reiner and Bertolt. And we obviously know that Marcel got eaten. So did Annie go back to give them a message? Oh wow! That's why! He sabotaged his brother so that he would be safe. That's the only reason Reiner got it. Oh. So, because, th oh, they camped right on top of her. That's why she, they woke her up. They got eaten. So he didn't even stay to check what happened to them. Oh my gosh. Wow. So maybe I was right. Maybe Annie went by herself. Ra, you control the colossal titan from the beginning. If you were a fraction as calm as you are now, we wouldn't have lost Marcel or Jaw. Oh, their kicks are always on point. Oh my gosh, he's stomping his face in. Crazy. Wow. Dude, she's destroying him. If you feel guilty, just die. Oh, he's back up. Reiner is dead. Oh my gosh, then I'll be Marcel. So this is why Galliard or Porco was saying that like, why are you acting like my brother? Because he like actually took on that role of being him. And then he lost his mind in the process. Oh, there's Dina. Inside War Rose. I'll be the warrior I should have been. Oh, so is that where they were staying in the mountains with that guy? <laughs> Kenny. Wow. Who's that, though? 
妹に誓ってねえなそいつは俺が一番笑えない冗談だひどいよパパ Oh my gosh What? Oh, yo, mo, papa ga kirai ni naru toshi. Wait, are you telling me? Wait. Sugoi na. Kono ashi no kanji da to kyo wa yuki ko? That is confusing. Are you telling me that Annie was Kenny's daughter? Atsumeta jouhou motte maru ni kaero. Donna jouhou. Wow. Are you telling me that's crazy? So she's Levi's cousin. She's an Ackerman, which is very interesting. They're devils. Take a break, you're gonna die. But that's the thing, Reiner's been in a whole training camp before he even got to this one. Just do what you've got to do. Keep moving forward. What? What is this about? I can't let this go on. Oh, he didn't have the nerve. Oh, so th they've jumped forward now, and that's Reiner tried to do that. These are obviously all the guys who got injured. I said I lost my memory and can't go home. But I just don't want to. Oh, embarrassed to face the family because you've come back like an injured person. Doesn't this almost look like the guy who was like reading the newspapers in like the crowd in the first episode? I hope you live a long life. Bro, I'm getting like a weird sense about something and I could be completely wrong. But why does this look like Eren? You know what I mean. Listen to the voice. Why did I ever come to this? Bro, that literally sounds like Eren. Unless they just use the same voice actor. Because, like... What's it now? It's been four years and he was growing his hair at the end of season three. I don't know, that could be a wild stretch. Oh, it might be hope. It might even be another hell. Dude, it, it is him. It's him. Oh my gosh. It's him, bro. I call it. I was like saying, there's no ways like they would use another. Like you can't use the same voice actor with such a predominant voice for two people. And it's the main guy. But what is he doing there? Like, obviously it's been four years. So... He's maybe infiltrated, right? And that's why he's asking questions about the other people just gaining intel. But, oh my gosh, this is insane, dude. What is he doing there? But yeah, um, good episode. Just like, you know, full backstory kind of, of, you know, Reiner's story and how they actually got to that point and how it was supposed to be Porco, which I think is Galliard now. Maybe he changed his name or something, but that is... Marcel's brother and the reason why Reiner even got the job I guess was because Marcel put a good word in for him only because he didn't want his brother to become a warrior or become the armor titan I'm guessing um, to save him and wow 
crazy that's the thing like i want to talk about the episode but there's just that massive blow at the end and i think that was aaron who was walking there in the beginning with like the newspaper um and maybe he's just pretending to be injured but then again who knows what happened there or how he's even there and the other thing is like annie being kenny's daughter that's crazy as well so but it's the only sort of unfortunate thing is is that you don't really see like the loop being closed like kenny's dead now right and who knows where annie is like she, remember she was still in that that armored casing so she might make an appearance later on in this show because it would be weird if they just write off her character from like the end of season two you know like she has the power of you know the female fight but yeah I, we now we're starting to narrow in again we're starting to get closer to that point where things are going to pop off now that they've introduced Aaron like this yeah because I mean it has been this build up so very interesting to see but anyways really good episode that's going to be it for me if you like the video smash the like button subscribe if you want I'm going to leave the last episode right up over here thanks for watching if you're watching, I'm out. Peace. In a bit.